and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to basically be a basic Halloween look. So I see all these amazing creations on Instagram and on Pinterest and I'm like, oh yeah, I'd love to do that. Oh wait, I have no skills. So this is going to be a Halloween look that is so easy because if I can do it, then you can do it but I'm a bit scared, we'll see. I went on to Pinterest and I just kind of looked at easy Halloween makeup looks and this was the one that took my fancy. So by no means am I a creative coming up with an amazing idea. I just plan on trying to replicate this. So yeah, I'm not one of those makeup creatives that's gonna spend like 10 hours painting a clown on my face. It's not me. I think this is quite a cute look and would hopefully be easy. I feel like I'm doing the your really basic Halloween because you don't go scary, you just try and still look cute. But I know a lot of you girls out there want to still look cute, so it's fine. This is what I would call like a scarecrow look, hence my little denim dungarees and checkered shirt ensemble. Don't have a straw hat, but we'll go with it because this is the basic Halloween look. So from the image, I'll just show you guys. It's basically just like a black lip, black eyes, orange cheeks, orange eyeshadow, and then an orange nose. So I've just gone to my makeup, I've picked up anything orange, and I've picked up anything black. And I'm just going to try with you guys. So if this goes horrifically wrong, I'm very sorry. But I warned you. <laughs> I'm just starting off with... A normal face of makeup. I'm just gonna add on to what I've got because I think this is the sort of thing where you can just add, surely? We'll try. But I'm not really quite sure where to begin. Like, do I begin with the eyes? Should we do that? So I'm just gonna take this, which you guys will have seen before. It's just my Taj Mahal blusher from NARS and it's like the most incredible bright orange. So I'm just gonna pick some up on a blending brush and pop it in my eyeball. I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna go not ham. So I'm gonna go ham on it. I'm gonna make them very orange. Now my arm is kind of in the way, so I might have to shuffle this around a little bit. Change angle. I don't really do makeup videos very often because I always feel like they're really boring. Let me know. And let me know what you'd wanna see. Even though we're doing Halloween right now, what would you want to see? Right. As we can see, I've gone quite crazy with the orange. If I end up looking like a scarecrow, I'm going to be so proud of myself. I don't even know what I'm doing for Halloween or if I'm going to even be dressing up. So, this is like my fake Halloween. Yeah. Should we go trick-or-treating now? It's not as if it's um, a little bit early, but it's fine. I'm going to do what every good makeup artist does and just fluff it on their hand so that then they can blend their eyeshadow. See, I am just a professional. I just can't help it. Can we see I'm looking rather orange, but hopefully in a good way. So now if we look at this scarecrow lady, she's got very, very black stuff going on in her eyes. Now, I never do a wing liner, so this is going to be interesting, but let's attempt a wing liner with Misha. If I make it through, I deserve an award. So, I mean, I don't think it would cut anyone, but we'll go with it. If it goes badly, we just pretend it's supposed to be like that. Oh my gosh, my face looks so weird with winged eyeliner. I never wear it. But basically, if you want to learn how to do wing liner, don't watch my video. I mean, that's acceptable. Is it missing a patch? No. I'm actually quite proud of that wing liner. Go Misha! Let's attack this liner. I wouldn't even say those liners are related, but we'll go with it. First step complete. Now I'm going to go back to the orange blusher and I'm going to just grab a brush to smoke out the lash line. I'm just going to pop the orange along my lash line. Well. I'm looking very orange, so I suppose that's a step in the right direction. Now, we need to make this more black, 
So, we are going to take some of this bad boy, which is Max Black Track. Now, I have not used this in forever, and it's really dried out, so I've sprayed some Fix Plus. And I'm going to hope for the best. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, I think this is past saving. Like, that's like grey watercolour. That's a no. I've got grey watercolour on my hand. And my light just fell on me. Well, this Halloween looks going well so far, isn't it? At least I found the makeup wipes. Hoping we still good in the hood. So, that black MAC black track is a no-go. So, we are going to move on to this mini Marc Jacobs pencil just to fill in my waterline. And now, obviously, I'm not going to do this very neatly because, well, it doesn't matter. I'm also just going to sort of like scrub it like all in. I never thought I'd scrub something in my eyeball, but I'm literally just going to do this. So glad I didn't put on contact lenses this morning because my eyes would not be working. So we're just kind of trying to make it black. I reckon this is going okay. Next, to make it even more black, we're gonna grab NARS Black Valley. Hopefully this one will kind of work. They're all dried out so much. Just gonna pop it on my bottom lash line. Excuse my makeup faces. I'm going to try and match up my liner with my bottom lash line. Well, it's kind of looking a little bit more Halloween-y as we go along. So step in the right direction. Well, so step in a direction. She looks quite cool. Should we work out the black eyeshadow? I'm just going to use any old black, which is going to be the Huda Beauty Black Truffle. And just try and make this look a little bit more dark and smoke. I feel like I am going to need to fill in my eyebrows some more so let me just do that because I've just got gel in them so they look a little bit like weak next to this eyeshadow. Now that my eyes are probably looking as good as I'm ever going to get them, I'm just going to add some bottom lash mascara. If I didn't have eyelash extensions, I would put some falsies on. But mine are basically ready already. And I'm going to go quite heavy with the mascara on the bottom lashes. So that is my eyes done, I think. We'll go with it. Next, what do I have to do? So move on to my nose. So, for my nose, I've got this orange gel from Inglot, which is in shade 80, so not really a shade, but we'll go with it. And this scarecrow here, it's kind of just got like a, a raindrop on her nose. So should I just grab a brush, clean one of course, and just start doing a raindrop? I feel like this might be a little bit red, but we'll go with that. This feels disgusting. I'm looking a little bit like Rudolph, but we'll go with it. <laughs> I feel really funny. <laughs> I'll let that dry so that then we can move on to the black bit. And in the meantime, I'll do the cheeks. So for the cheeks, she's basically just got a circle of orange blusher. And to make sure that we get the full colour, I'm actually just going to take an eyeshadow brush and do the blusher with an eyeshadow brush so that we can get our rosy posy cheeks. Oh, this is so cute. Look. I actually might add some of this eyeshadow to my nose because I feel like currently my nose is a different shade to everything else. It's like my nose has got a bit of highlight. <laughs> so what is next? I think it's time to try and do some freckles. Now this is something that I'm going to fail at. 
but I will still try. So I'm just going to take this brown pencil. Oh, this is actually really cute. Oh, I want freckles. I'm going to use just like an array of brown pencils. And you just come in and goes, you don't look very scary. Who actually wants to look scary? People are going to be like, your fake moles and freckles are dreadful. But, you know, I don't really care. This girl probably actually just has freckles, but I thought they added to the look. So. I might go get another brow pencil so that I can get some different sizes. Because right now they kind of make me look like Pinocchio. I'll be back. So I'm back with my brow wiz. And I'm just going to do... I'm to do some These fake freckles are actually really hard to do. I just tried to spoolie my mole. But let's move on to the black. I'm going to grab a little angled brush. And we're going to start finishing off my nose. Yep, let's just round it. And then little... If you learn anything from this video, I will be deeply, deeply surprised. Oh, this is cute! I think I might use liquid eyeliner. As we can see, I'm just kind of faking it till I make it. Now, I'm actually going to remove what I have on my lips because I'm about to put black all over them. So, yeah, I'm not sure it would be the best idea. Paint the town black. So I'm going to start by just doing my bottom lip. If you have black lipstick, this would obviously work better, but I'm just working with what I have. What do I do now when it's not filling in that bit? Do I try and use black eye? I feel like this is not what you're supposed to do. People don't do this. You are totally not supposed to put this in your mouth. I'm looking a tad strange. And now I'm going to try and do the lines. It's getting a little bit more Halloween-y. <laughs> I look really funny. Okay, crosses. Cross, 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 cross. Uh, on the lips, she actually has crosses, so I'm a bit scared. This is most certainly a trick to make your lips look bigger. <laughs> Let's try not to get black teeth. So, here's the final look. Now, I'm actually quite impressed with myself. It doesn't look that dissimilar to the image. Sorry, random girl, that I'm stealing your design. I'm actually really happy with myself. If you think this looks awful, then don't worry. I won't be that offended. Considering I've never done this look before, it's not bad. Can you take me seriously whilst I talk looking like a scarecrow? Probably not, but... I'm actually quite happy with myself. I need to get some video footage where I look cool. <laughs> up this cute yet I think it's kind of scary Halloween scarecrow look I hope you guys have enjoyed it I've actually really enjoyed doing it it's quite nice to just be able to do random stuff on your face and not it not have to be perfect so yeah I'm quite happy with the outcome I would totally wear this and oh me for a first attempt I don't think this is too bad so let me know if you actually recreate this look or tag me on Instagram because I'd actually love to see if anyone kind of copies me copying somebody else. But I will leave the link to the original photo that I used down below so you guys can see the original as well because obviously it's a million times better than what I've done. But a girl can try. So yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And this scarecrow will see you all next time. Happy Halloween. What do scarecrows say? Whenever I think of a scarecrow, I just think of the wizards of Oz. Wizard of Oz, that's the one. <laughs>